today we are leaving Sydney and we're heading off to Keynes, Australia where all we're basically doing is snorkeling in the coral, coral reef and uh, yeah waiting for our bus I'm not gonna miss this hotel it really sucked there was no free Wi-Fi everything was expensive no free breakfast nothing all we did was sleep TV sucked and basically we slept and left that's all we could do here nothing else they didn't even have a nice power outlet for us man it's time to board our bus to head off to the airport so that we can go to the next city goodbye Sydney I will sort of miss you. At the airport now. Qantas Airlines domestic flight to Keynes. Keynes City, Australia. Lego. Which one's our flight? Uh, there we go. Gate 3. It's right there, Mom. Gate 3. Gate 3 is right there. <coughs> Isn't it just great when airports have Wi-Fi? You can just do whatever you want. You're not bored. Nothing. It's beautiful. Alright, never mind. It looks like you have to pay for the internet here. This sucks. We've arrived in Keynes, Australia. Cairns, Australia. I don't know. It's spelled C A I R N S. You would think it's pronounced Cairns, but it's Kens or something like that. And we're going to baggage. It's so nice and warm here in Cairns. It's so cold down in uh, Sydney. But in like three days, we'll be heading off to Melbourne, where it's going to be even colder than Sydney. So. I guess we'll prepare myself for that. Baggage claim for the second out of four times on this trip. About to enter the outdoors of Kings, Australia in about 10 seconds. As we go through these automatic doors. Boom. And the weather's actually pretty hot. Maybe a little bit too hot for my likings. Headed to the hotel. We're here at Mercur, Mercur Harborside Canes. And we're getting booked into our hotel. Place looks pretty nice. It's almost like a uh, shoreside hotel. It's not really a city. It's pretty nice. Different different setting. Off to the pool. The pool is way too cold to stay in for too long. So we got out. It's a salt water pool, so it's not that cool. Come on, Andy. Let's go. Let's go. Ground floor. You guys want to know a secret? This hotel has a secret floor. You got five. You got four. You got three. You got two. And you get double ones. Look at that. There's a hidden floor in this hotel. I'll find out what it is some other time. We are off to downtown on the bus, which is coming on the hour, which should be in about five minutes. Let you know, whoa, there's a bus outside right now. There we go. Alright, so we're off to downtown to go find a restaurant and a grocery store. Let's go. I don't know where our driver is. I boarded the car by myself. We are now downtown Canes. This is a great... 
Small, nice little city. There's some aboriginals over there, natives of Australia, before the English took over. And I don't know what I'm expecting from the city. What are we doing here? Do you know anything that's like recommended? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Science is internet. I want it so bad. I guarantee it won't be free. Yeah, yeah, Australia. There we go. Yeah. Which souvenir should I get for my friends? These. Yeah, I, I don't know. These ones don't have any branding. There's. I could have get this from anywhere. And I guess I'll take the keychains. Keychains, Australia. I'm gonna get these. These are good. Six, they're pretty nice, pretty big. Pretty big, yeah. Look at all those boots. They're all Uggs and Ugg ripoffs. I don't think these are even souvenirs. Like, the Uggs don't have, like, Australia on them. You know what the great thing about Australia is? At all stores, they sell stuffed animal kangaroos, and it's always buy one, get one free. You get the kangaroo and you get the joey. It's actually pretty difficult to find aboriginals in Australia. You would think that the natives who were here, you'd be able to find a lot of the English. They basically drove them all out. There's like none. First time we met one was here in Keynes. Second city. Out of four days, the fifth day, we got it. I don't know why it's such a significant thing to find one, though. Genuine kangaroo scrotum. I want this. I want this, Mom. I want this. Supermarket. Where are we going now? Where are we, where are we going now? Alright. Don't answer me. Alright, that's cool. It's cool, too. Alright. A didgeridoo universal joint. Didgeridoo specialist. You know how cool this is? Made by aboriginals. <laughs> Did you redo? More than a termite job inside, sorry the expression, less termite shit left in there, the less dead ends, uh, the less air resistance. So whatever comes out the end is nice, crisp, and clear. And depending on length of the didgeridoo, you get different knots. It's like a church organ with different sized pipes in the back. Now there's several ways of how to play a didgeridoo. I suppose you hear my accent, you also see my skin color, which is a proof that none of us here are Aboriginal. So therefore we're not limited to one style of place. Wow. What we can do here is what I classify as the West. Dad, you swallow. <laughs> I, I don't know you were going Come to on, get your thing. camera out. <laughs> I just asked and it was so nice to know you. Tell me when you're ready, okay? Are you filming or taking pictures? He's filming. Whenever both, you're ready, let me know. They're both filming. Come on, Dad. He's vlogging. Officially in love with didgeridoos. So cool. Such a nifty little town. So many stores, so many different varieties, mainly because of the Aboriginal influence. It's so different. I don't even know what that is over there. Is this just like a beach? It's like a it's like a perfectly well developed community. Yeah. There's an ocean right there. Anyone can just Go and swim in. It's like a right now. Here's like a boardwalk and there's local singers. There's a no juggler free over wifi, juggler. No free wifi, no free wifi. Shut up, Andy. There's no a wifi. public pool. There's a music music thing. Performers. It's great. The music the music thing is coming up tonight. The beach with the mountains edging over in the distance. Amazing. 
now. That means the max I can stand it. How's that good? The amount of urine that must be in this pool. It's a massive pool. It's ridiculous. There's just so many damn food places to eat. Like, there's one, like, here, we got a cafe. Right there, we got fish and chips and some kebab thing. So many choices. These streets are so crowded. Crossing the street. It's safe. I'm just kind of trying to fill up the water bottle. That's all I'm doing. Nothing special. Large pizza, twelve dollars. Don't mind if I do. Ten. We want ten. Tomato, mozzarella, ham, salami, onion, mushrooms, uh, and with the olives. I don't like olives. When is our pizza coming? It's been ages. I hate people that say there's free Wi-Fi, but then they have a locked connection. How much stuff is in this pizza? There's pepperoni, ham? You're so loud, Nico. I don't care if I'm loud. Yes, you do. There's just there's cheese, mushrooms, I don't know how you various other things. Look at this slice. It's crazy. This is incredible. How's yours, mom? Very good. What do you have on it? Pineapple, capsicum, Ew. onion, no. peppers. No, pineapples don't go on pizzas. Eh, the cool car stopped coming. Damn it. Where are we headed next? Where are we going next, mom? No, we're not going to McDonald's. We're up. We're getting ice cream. You don't get ice cream at McDonald's, Mom. I don't know what you're talking about. You wouldn't expect to see a warfare number that says George Bush sucks in Australia. It's really weird. I think we'll be pretty well stocked on Tim Tams for a long time. I think there's 20 boxes in there. Cereal for breakfast. So this time we're actually buying it. Where's my cornflakes? There we go. Right here. Well, yeah, this is a gigantic box. This is what I want. Where's yours? Alright, let's go. On our way to get the milk. We are waiting for a bus to get back to the hotel. It's supposed to come on the hour. But it's like 7.10. And it still doesn't come. Disappointed.